Sean Falco is a petty thief along with Derek. They work as valets for the restaurant. At the point when a family comes to the place, Derek drives back the vehicle to their home so he can burglarize it, just for the family's canine to pursue him to drop everything. Another costumer is a rich man named Kale who tells the guys not to screw with his vehicle. Sean drives his vehicle to his home and breaks in. He finds a credit card and calls the company to activate it. As he looks around different parts of the house, he goes into Kale's office and sees a checkbook. He snaps a photo of the check. However, the camera flash uncovers a young lady named Katie tied up in the room. Sean has gone crazy, and he attempts to help Katie. He goes to Kale's carport where he finds his tools, as well as a table where he worked on other victims. Sean attempts to help Katie, yet she warns him that there is a camera in the workplace that Kale can check. Certainly, when Kale is finished eating, he actually looks at the surveillance cameras on his telephone. Sean must get back to the restaurant with the vehicle. Sean tells Derek what he saw, and he calls the police from a payphone to try not to have them trace it back to him. Sean drives by Kale's home, and he hears screaming. The police show up and talk to Kale, just to see that he is with another lady that he just engaged in sexual relations with. This allows Kale to get rid of the police, yet he is suspicious. After Derek shows up, they wait that Kale will leave, and they break into his home. They go search for Katie, yet find that the workplace has no one in it. Kale calls the police to let them know that somebody is breaking into his home, driving the guys to run. Frantic to save the young lady, Sean enthusiastically goes to the police office and admits that he was looting Kale's place when he found Katie. Detective Wayne Banyan isn't prepared to trust Sean because of his history, yet Sean demands that what he saw is true. Banyan goes to investigate Kale's home. However, Kale speaks to him and throws doubt from him. Banyan advises Sean to let Kale alone after he decides not to press charges, but rather to document a report for someone who has gone missing that he ought to go to the FBI. Sean does so and speaks to FBI agent who won't say any longer about the investigation. Kale removes Katie from his home and drives her to a lodge far away from the city. He puts a shock collar on her to guarantee she won't shout. Kale later breaks into Sean's home as he is taking a shower, and he takes individual data off of his PC. He goes onto Sean's Facebook profile to say a final farewell to Riley, send her a rude message, and afterward email the image he took of her to all of her classmates. Riley advises Sean to let her be as he goes to attempt to talk with her. At the point when Sean visits her and attempts to explain himself, she simply advises him to disappear. At the point when Sean heads outside, he finds his vehicle has been vandalized, with a block tossed through the windshield, his windows broken, and his tires sliced. Kale drives by and almost strikes Sean, and he then, at that point, calls him to let Sean know that he is in Kale's own jail. Sean figures out that his stepfather was terminated after Kale planted $10,000 worth of company hardware in his truck, while Sean's mom was suspended from the hospital after a case that she attacked a youngster. Kale then goes after Riley, hurling her against a wall and tossing her downstairs, sending her to the hospital. Sean takes his stepdad's truck to get help. Kale corners Derek in his own home subsequent to killing his mom and sibling. After a battle with Sean on the opposite end of Derek's telephone, Kale shoots Derek in the head and stages it as a suicide. Sean sees Kale get the telephone, and he screenshots Kale's face. He sends the image to the FBI agents. Sean investigates the image he took of Kale's checkbook. In the closer look, he sorts out that Kale is someplace in the space called Sandy. He returns to Kale's home to search for additional pieces of information until he finds out where Kale is going. Sean then, at that point, finds that Kale planted a bomb in the kitchen. Sean drives Kale's vehicle out of there similarly as the house detonates. Sean went to Kale's lodge similarly, as the FBI agents investigate Kale's image and acknowledge he was the kid in the opening, who killed the horse and his trainer, and that Kale was a trust fund kid who lost his mind. They head over to the lodge too. Sean shows up at the lodge and tracks down Katie. However, Kale assaults him with a shovel until he is knocked out. At the point when Sean awakens, Kale has Katie standing over a pit he dug up that is covered with lye. He shoots Katie in the head and goes to kill Sean as well. Yet Katie survived and figures out how to move out of the pit and whack Kale with a shovel. They run for it. However, Kale pursues them with a gun. Sean finds as a hatchet, however, he inadvertently severs the blade off. As Kale draws nearer, 
Sean begins to beat him with the hatchet's handle until Kale at last goes down. Sean and Katie stroll until the authorities find them. The agents then, at that point, go to the lodge where they find Kale tied up to a seat, growling in rage. Please like and subscribe, thank you.